One of the blue chip companies that have helped power the U.S. markets to record highs has been Disney. Shares closed at another all-time high today, that following a year's worth of very steady gains at the House of the Mouse. Courtney Reagan joins us now with news that uh, should make Disney investors even happier. Courtney, some earnings numbers. That's right, Tyler. It's not just the happiest place on earth for kids, but Disney is also making investors very happy. The world's largest entertainment company reported its fiscal second quarter earnings after the bell today, beating Wall Street's expectations on both the top and the bottom lines. For its second quarter, Disney reports earnings of 79 cents per share, two cents above Wall Street's expectations, on revenue of $10.55 billion better than Wall Street analyst forecast of $10.49 billion. Yeah, our parks and resorts had a great quarter uh, that was helped a lot by some of our new investments, notably at Disneyland and in Florida, but also our new cruise ships and our investments in Hong Kong. Our cable networks, led by ESPN, also had an exceptional quarter, and we had improvement at our studio and a consumer product. So all in all, a great quarter for the company. Disney, of course, also reveling in its early success for Iron Man 3. It's made already more than $700 million at the box office worldwide. I haven't seen it yet, though. All right, get we'll line. get some market reaction tomorrow right. when uh, <laughs> investors can react to those great numbers. Thanks a lot, Courtney.